Welcome back to the shop. Well, today we're going to have a quick project. My lathe here, um, the tailstock is using this nasty bolt with a spacer and giant nut on it and it's basically cobbled together. The nut is too small for the piece here and I have to use this thing to actually tighten the tailstock. So I want to do away with all of this and um, recently, well not recently but a while ago in my pile of junk I got my hands on uh, this handle. This is off of a craftsman table saw which is actually rather nice as a handle is concerned and uh, the thread on it is 3 8 24 so it's a fine thread. And I was able to find a bolt that basically is, um, matches this. The problem is the bolt's not long enough. So what I've done here is I've taken uh, another bolt and this is the normal steel bolt and I've filed away the sides and faced this part, cut away some of the thread so it actually fits in here like so. It's a nice snug fit, it's nice and tight and it actually grabs on both sides of the edges on there so it's it's pretty nice so now what I have to do is I have to cut this cut the head of this bolt drill this thread it and then uh, screw this bolt in there so I get a bit more length out of it next up the saw so I wanted to show you guys that sometimes you just gotta keep a piece of scrap over here and a piece of scrap over here there and that's causing this to pinch and this part is actually elevated enough so the cut can be reasonably straight done. Well, I had to put together the old nut and bolt before I, uh, one more time before I am done with this job, so there we go. The dimension was wrong. I needed to go to, to 265, not 290. That's okay because I turned it down. And now I am threading on the lathe. And now I'm not single point threading because my gearbox is still out of commission. But that and I don't know how to do that yet. I am uh, using. A tap and uh, I'm literally just grabbing on the vice jaws and the jaws here it looks like it's making a thread I hope it's making a thread
Alrighty then, so after turning and tapping and everything else, I ended up, it's not welded, it's soldered. It's threaded in and then I soldered it and it seems like the flux has actually parkerized the metal. That's actually a bit of solder because I fed the solder from the top. I heated the whole thing up. And I fed solder from the top and there was flux in there so until it flowed out of the sides but it seems like it really parkerized or coated this thing which either way doesn't really matter much to me because it just prevents rust so that's that's a good thing so with that said this now goes in there it's actually a pretty nice fit and uh, time to put it together So, now it's mounted. I got a nice little handle. It's captive. You can't lose it. And the nice thing about it is about a third of a turn is really all that this thing needs. And this thing ain't moving. I don't have to use this anymore. Funny thing is, the nut is the same size. So if this was it, as well. See. Seems to be fairly sensitive here. Alrighty, so subscribe if you haven't done so already, and comment, suggestions, whatever. If you got any ideas, I want to hear them too. Thank you very much. Ciao, ciao.